Thank you everyone for coming, it's a great turnout. Um, delighted to, to sort of get here, it's the first milestone for us uh, as Fighting Chance Promotions as we, as we look to profile Genesis uh, this forthcoming Saturday. Um, as you can see we've got a, a packed card, um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a long night, um, but it's going to be a great night of boxing. Um, I just want to start by giving uh, a couple of thank yous really to, to people who have helped us to get here um, and then I'll introduce the table and we'll ask each of them the fighters and managers to say a little bit on uh, on their upcoming opponents. Um, so really, you know, this has been a, a long journey. Ronnie and I have worked together for a number of years. Um, somehow we're still friends. We still we still speak to each other on a, on a daily basis. Um, and, and you know, we're a great team. I'd like to thank everyone who's involved in Fighting Chance. You know, people who make us make us tick. So uh, the work that Ronnie does, the work that Gary does, the work that Nathan does behind the scenes, Tom, uh, our photography team, absolutely everyone who's involved. Chris Clayton does a great job. With, it, with the nutrition, um, so you know we we wouldn't be where we are if uh, if you didn't have such a wonderful team behind us. Um, in it, with with regards to the show, you know we've got a number of sponsors. Um, we're we're grateful that we've got this uh, exclusive TV deal with, with Made Television, and that allows us to to profile and provide a platform for fighters for for the next uh, 12 months and beyond. Um, you know this is our pilot show really and then beyond there we're looking to, to host uh, live televised shows going forward as well so really exciting times uh, so I'd like to thank Made Television um, for, for providing us with this platform and working with us and you know we've done a lot of work behind the scenes to, to try and make the production as, as professional as we possibly can um, again we're, you know, I'd like to thank the sponsors who have helped to, to put the show together um, Aspers Casino who are going to be the official after party um, we're going to have the official after party here. We've also got the weigh in here at 3 pm on Friday for John Lewis Dickinson and for Josh Leather. Um, so, a massive thank you to Aspers. Uh, and then we've got a number of, of uh, key partners who have been involved with us from, from the offset as well. So, a huge thank you to Portland Consultants who, have, again, have looked after us and supported us for, for a number of years. Uh, we also have Northern Maintenance, Surtax, Gauntlet Insurance, and High Street Group who are our sponsors for the evening as well. So, again, uh, you know, it's, it promises to be a, a really, really explosive night of boxing. Um, just in terms of the card, I'll, I'll sort of run through um, who we've got. I will attempt to pronounce some names. Um, I, I may not be able to. And then what we'll do is we'll just head down the table and then we'll go on to any questions. Um, so uh, we have obviously topping the bill John Lewis Dickinson against Yuri Spakina. Um, six three minute rounds. Um, you know, a great contest, great opportunity. Yuri's been in with a lot of um, cruiserweights in the division uh, domestically and, and has gone the distance, so it'll be, you know, it'll be a tough test for John. Um, we have as chief supporter that Josh Leather against Paolo, who boxed, uh, made his debut recently uh, and, and boxed against uh, a lad who had had five and uh, you know, went the distance and looks like a, a, tough, a tough opponent, a tough challenge there for Josh, so that's uh, you know, an exciting contest. Um, Fresh from his stint over in, in Vegas, we've got Danny Warbox and Terry George. Um, again, an, an opportunity for Danny to, to uh, for his second out in um, and to you know to get that win. We have from Fighting Chance Mark White boxing Phil Hervey, who was seen uh, last weekend, I believe, on on Steve Ray's show. So again, fantastic that uh, that Mark's going to get the opportunity to box Phil and and showcase um, him down with talent that we know that he is. Uh, we did have Jay who scheduled to box, but it doesn't look like Jay's going to be able to box due to um, licensing uh, restrictions with the board. Uh, we, we have Glenn Foot scheduled to box as well. Uh, we're just waiting on an opponent for Glenn Foot, so again, as that comes through, we'll, we'll let people know uh, probably on the Friday. Uh, John TK <laughs> is boxing <laughs> a heavyweight. Zayusis, Rebichis Zayusis. So, you know, a big, big tough kid. Um, and again, another opportunity uh, for TK to, to showcase his, his ability. Uh, we're delighted to have Jamie Jones uh, making his debut as he crossed over from the MMA platform. Uh, and he's going to be boxing Aaron Robinson, so that's a name that we can pronounce and, and we're quite happy with that one. Uh, and we also have um, Bazi Razak boxing Ian Henry. Um, Ian comes with a, with a strong uh, amateur pedigree. And it's testament to his team that, that you know, uh, Bazzi's taking uh, Ian on. Ian's had one fight and won one, so again, that, that'll be a, a, a good, tough matchup. Um, I think what, what we wanted to do when putting the build together was make sure that we, we had, um, you know, real live contests um, and, and, and opponents who, who are here to fight and here to, you know, looking, looking to win, really. So um, I think the night's, you know, 
looking, looking to be absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't know whether my partner in crime wants to say anything or add anything to, to this, but I'm going to hand the microphone to him anyway, so I'm going to put him on the spot and make him say something. Thanks, Rose. There's not much more I can say, really. Uh, it's just a great opportunity for us to um, to host our first event and, and to be here, be, be here at Aspers for the press conference. Thanks to all the press for coming. It's, uh, it's great to see you here. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, obviously my interest is mainly in the, um, in the fighting chance camp, but I do know all of the lads really well and we're all squad together. So, uh, you know, what, what this is about is profile North East Boxing and tonight is um, on Saturday will be profile North, North East Boxing with Josh coming in, um, great pedigree, good lad, having John Lewis Dickinson on, on the bill is, a, is absolutely brilliant for uh, for this type of show. And, uh, John's got further things in there, but we've just we've got to keep our mind on on the job in front of us, and that's to, to win this um, fight on Saturday night. The other lads from the fighting chance camp, take care. He's got a tough out on, on his hands there. This kid's uh, he went the distance with the likes of Dylan White and people like that. So he's he's no no push on us. So there's some you know some really really great matchups there, and I'm really looking forward. To it. What we'll do is we'll, we'll hand over to the fighters just to say a little bit as well uh, as we go down the line. So I'll, I'll go left to John first, just a little bit on your thoughts on the, on the bill. Yeah, I'm there. I think the bill's going to be a great night. Um, definitely a bright future for North East Boxing with Fighting Chance taking all the promotion of light. Um, like Rory says, got a um, couple of fights in the pipeline, but got to be uh, focused on Saturday night and obviously get a win and, and perform, perform there first. So, definitely looking forward to it, and I'm um, sure it's going to be a great crowd and a, a great night and a great atmosphere. Yeah, I'm just going to look down the table, look at the talent what's on display. Um, I think everyone's going to be in top form. Uh, it's going to be a cracking show for everyone. Good night for boxing. And I'm um, Sir Danny It's a pleasure to be part of a bill like this. I'm um, really looking forward to getting in there. <coughs> About uh, 10 weeks of hard training. We've been working hard on the tongue. Really? Yeah. Doing so, uh, looking forward to doing the job on Saturday. Cheers. TK? Thanks a lot, Louis. Thanks a lot, uh, Ron. Uh, it's, it'll be my second out on the uh, 26th this Saturday. I really can't wait uh, to get back in the ring. And uh, just box his head off. I really can't wait. And uh, it's going to be a good night as well. To try and get all the North East fans, obviously here in Newcastle and Gateshead, to try and uh, back us up because there's going to be four shows this year. We'll try and get this Saturday out of the way and uh, move on from here. So, uh, really can't wait. I'm looking forward to Saturday. Uh, Jamie Jones. Hi there. Uh, just I'd like to thank the sponsors, Street Cars and uh, the Fighting Network, making me debut on the Saturday uh, and obviously. Well, I'm going to be embraced by the Fighting Chance team. Don't know much about my opponent, just that I've, I've done my bit. I've trained as hard as I can, I've stuck in and I've sparred, and I've had a perfect camp. And I just can't wait to get in there and put it on show for everybody in the North East. Thanks. Hi there. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Fighting Chance for the opportunity to be on the show. Um, Oh, we to just be back in there, do what I do best. Put some people there. <laughs> <laughs> Josh? Yeah, uh, it's great to be back in the North East and um, another, another win on Saturday night as well, that's what I'm looking for. And um, it's great to be, have all the people supporting me where, where I come from. And it's great that I can have uh, set up as many tickets as I can for this fight. And, uh, thanks for everyone that's going to turn up on Saturday night. I've got a great camp. Been spying there, very spying for the Israel title fight. But, uh, about eight, eight weeks had had soon, so I made a video go Saturday night. Do you want to say anything, Ron? I just, uh, just thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, uh, and being invited on, uh, on the inaugural show for the Fighting Chance. It's uh, obviously I've known Ronnie for a long, long time, and he's. Uh, He's helped me out an awful lot where my coaching is concerned and I really appreciate that so to, to support him on, um, on his big night and um, John Lewis's big night, it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure so thank you very much Ron.
Thank you. So as I say, um, doors open on Saturday. We're, we're opening doors at about half past six. Um, the first contest will be 7.30. Um, and obviously we'll be, we'll be running through till, till probably midnight. Um, the, uh, as I say, the after party is here at Aspas Casino, so um, there'll be a, a party held down here where all the fighters are welcome back and, and you know, the public are welcome to come in. And then there is a free drink and free bet uh, upstairs for all those guests who do come back to Aspas as well. So a massive thank you to Aspas for helping us with that. Um, and you know, really, really excited. I think we, we started this journey we've made um, 18 months ago with Resurrection. Um, and I think it's fitting that as we as we sort of go go it our go go it alone, um, you know we're back doing what we do best, working with Maid, uh, and looking to, to raise the bar and you know put on a really good show for North East Fight fans. So I'm gonna stop waffling now and uh, open the, the floor to anyone who wants to ask any questions to any of the fighters or anyone on the bill. Thank you. I have just got a question for Jamie Jones. Um, I just want to uh, uh, talk to us about your crossover from MMA to boxing and what fans can expect um, from you in boxing. Well, <clears throat> yeah, well, it all started with me, uh, with me amateur boxing. I'm not going on too much, but uh, obviously I, I come from a boxing background primarily. Um, and about six years ago, I made the crossover to MMA. Done quite well in MMA, won pretty much. Well, a, a good, a good, uh, a good amount of domestic titles and, and, and bouts went professional, done well again, and um, basically just come, come, went as far as I could go. I think uh, boxing was never far away, and uh, this was the next step for me. And obviously, with going professional, the the only big one person I would go with, and um, obviously I, I contacted Ron, and. Um, Ron, Ron was, 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 was stuck in, trained no different any to, to no matter to any other type of discipline that I'm that I'm involved in. I've just I've just trained to the best of my ability, done what I've done what I've told, uh, what I've been told to do, and I can't see any reason why I can't come out with a, a good win on Saturday for for all the, the North East fans. But a question for you know Ronnie or Lewis. Um, it's quite a there's a bit of diversity within the card of fighters. The fight fighting up different weights, different styles. Uh, quite a bit of background, so it's it's, it's very much northeast boxing family is, is is covered with this one. Is that a deliberate plan? You have to put this show together. <laughs> No, we just grabbed whoever we could. Really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think so. I mean, obviously, we've, we've got uh, you know a, a variety of people on the bill. Um, I think obviously we, we we look to profile the fighting chance lads, um, and that's the reason that we're we're here today. Um, but it is about you know trying to work together. You know, bring lots of other camps together. There's, there's guys who've been in the game a long time. Tommy's done a fantastic job. Imran's doing a great job with Josh. So I think you know we. Um, and, and then Mark there with uh, with Bazzi. So I think um, you know we, we sort of keep relationships with with everyone, um, and, and as part of that, you know we're able to um, ask people if they want to box on our show, and you know most of them most of them have come back and said yes. So yeah, I think so. I think this we wanted to put on good value, uh, and we wanted to make sure that there was fighters at different stages. You know, JB making his debut, exciting. You know, it's a bit of an unknown quantity in terms of. Pro boxing, we know what it's about, but um, you know, looking forward to that. And then the other end of the spectrum, you've got John Lewis, who's looking to progress on the world honours. So, um, yeah, I think there was probably a, a deliberate attempt to, to put that together. Definitely. And just for John Lewis Dickinson, um, how have you sort of put him on back to the ring? Of course, you've got this contest on Saturday, but then I feel like you've got Tommy McCarthy on next year. Yeah, um, obviously, last year became a bit frustrating with the date, like. From October, when I was supposed to be boxing, um, had a great win last time out in April. And as it happens, it's like I say, it's it's, it's eight to over a game when I'm boxing, you know. So it's, it's been a while, but um, we're looking to keep busy. And obviously this year, I'm I'm turned 30 in May, and I'm, obviously I'm not getting no younger. So I wanna I wanna push on and and do the best I can, you know. And, and obviously in the sport, I believe I can go to the top, and I think everyone round us does. So just a case of 
get, you see, get in the fight, get the opportunities. So very grateful for obviously for like you say for Ronnie and Lewis for, for putting the show together and letting us get get out there and, and get a fight under my belt. And then as it happens, we've got the we've got the fight with Tommy McCarthy on the on the um, the undercard of Ricky Burns fight up in, up in Glasgow on the twenty eighth of May. So uh, it's, a, it's a busy time, but exciting, and that's what I want. Two two good wins, and then hopefully get another big fight not too long after that one. You know, I, I want to be kept busy and, and have a big year. Another question for Lewis. Just obviously this one, but not going to be being out live. But you hope to have some live shows going out later on in the year. When is this one going to be put out on the TV? Uh, I believe it's the sixth of April, Andy. Is that correct? Yeah. Sixth of April. Um, two, two different programs. Yeah, there's two 60-minute programs going out. Uh, obviously, there'll be the, the main event, which will, will be John Lewis, and then there'll be the undercard uh, that goes out as two 60-minute programs. Um, we did the same with Resurrection, for yeah. those of you that remember Resurrection when Mate was in uh, soft launch. Um, so, so that's the thought process with this. Our, uh, uh, we've got a show planned for June the 25th, which will go out live on Mate, um, and we're just busy putting the card together for that. At the minute we've got you know, hopefully some exciting news to announce in the next couple of weeks. Um, on that one, it, obviously we've got to get the show out of the way first. So uh, yeah, we will be going live, uh, and this is very much a, uh, a tester again for us to make sure that we, we get everything right and that you know made it happy and most importantly we're happy with uh, the production and you know following that will you know all of our shows will be will be televised live then yeah. And for Josh as well, of course you back in the face, it's been a long time since we met. Yeah it's been uh, since we set since we second fight I fought fighting in our face and uh, it's great it's gonna be a gonna be a good crowd there. And um, it can't be not be fun showing, so it'll be a great thing. So what are your short games kicking off for 2016? Hopefully I'm looking at um, get get out in our face again and uh, hopefully some sort of title towards the end of the year. Some English some of that and um, get some a few decent rounds in and uh, that's what I need, need, need the rounds in and then uh, some sort of title towards the end of the year. Surely, you should be back in front of your fans. Is this maybe something you can do more regularly? Hopefully, yeah. That, that's, this is exactly this is exactly what I want to be uh, fighting in front of your own fans, and uh, you can't beat it. Even they, they come all the way around to me. I've uh, I'm in London everywhere, and uh, they, they always travel. And being up in the North East is even better. Any further questions? Anybody? Nope. Okay, so that, that concludes it. Obviously, the guys here are, are, are available for one-to-one uh, -one interviews for those of you that may want to do that. Once again, thank you everyone for coming. Thanks to all the sponsors and the team and everyone behind uh, the production. And uh, let's have a great night on Saturday. Thank you very much.